Hey golf people! I'm just getting to my friends here, Edwin Watts, and we are going to check out the new Stealth Driver, probably one of the hottest drivers of 2022. But is it for you? We're gonna to try to find out here today. There's two main questions that I wanna answer on today's episode. Firstly, if you are in my position where you just bought the Sim 2 last year, is it worth upgrading to the Stealth? We're gonna find that out. Also, number two, if you are buying a driver for the first time, or maybe you haven't bought a driver in many years, should you go Sim 2 or should you go Stealth if you're gonna stay in the TaylorMade family? We will find that out as well. Now there have been a number of reviews already out on YouTube, but I haven't watched any of them yet. So this is gonna be my first peek at this club. The reason I didn't watch them is because I didn't want them to influence my opinion. And also I'm a mere mortal. There's a lot of big heavy hitters on YouTube that drive the ball 320 yards and that is not me. And by the way, if you're like me and you've got a swing speed of 95 to 100, it's probably a good time to subscribe to this channel because you'll get a more accurate picture of what it's like for an average golfer out there. For a couple of years now, golf inventory has been very limited and today is no different. Edwin Watts only has a couple of these drivers. So today we're gonna test out the Stealth Plus. That'll be our main testing club up against my Sim 2. And we'll also look at the Stealth HD just to see what differences there are with that club. Now in terms of testing procedures, I'll be using my 60 gram stiff Tensei shaft that I've been using and really enjoy. I'll put that shaft in all the clubs we test today just to have an apples to apples comparison. And we'll be using my balls, the Encore Vero X1 as the testing balls as well. They're brand new balls so we know that balls won't influence this test. We're also going to make sure that we test these drivers all at the same loft. We're going to go to nine and a half degrees and possibly 10 degrees throughout today's test. All right, that's enough talking. Let's get in there and see which is the driver for me in 2022. Let's do it. I'm unwrapping the sticker off a brand new stealth here. We're going to have some fun today. All right, so right off the bat, really easy to see that the Sim 2 is a little bit more shallow than the Stealth. The new Stealth has a deeper face. If you look at that face, by the way, it's got some ridges on it. It's got like a coating in wet conditions. That coating is supposed to make the carbon face a little bit easier to hit. Now, putting these on the scale, we're looking at 193.9 with the Sim 2. We put on the Stealth and it's just a little bit heavier here at 196.4. I also did measure the Stealth HD and it was just about the same. It was only off by like a gram. When you put this tip to tip, just to measure it with the calipers here, we're getting 113.3 millimeters with the Sim 2. So really elongated there. If we put the calipers on the Stealth, we've got 111. 0.2, we'll call it. Now, when we measure the face here, just like we saw visually, 50.9 millimeters with the Sim 2 and a healthy 55, it's much deeper with the Stealth. So again, that could translate into a little bit more forgiveness. When we talk about the length of the face, basically the usable area, I measured 99.6 with the Sim 2 and just a little bit less here with the Stealth, not quite as long as the Sim 2. We're gonna go ahead and call that 93.4 millimeters. So again, a little deeper with the Stealth, not quite as long. So I'm gonna guess here that the high and low misses will be a little bit more forgiving with the Stealth. And maybe that carbon face will be a little bit more forgiving as well. I gotta think it's going to add a little bit more spin, but we're gonna have to go now to the simulator and find out. All right, first up, we're going Sim 2 here. This is the driver I've been playing with for a very long time. Starting off here with the Sim 2, I put out a few balls after a little bit of a warm up and a couple of shots that went a little bit right there, as you can see. This one's out there pretty good. Trying to get my club head speed up here. I've been working on that here in the beginning of the year because definitely after my surgery, as you know, had ankle surgery at the end of last year, trying to get that speed back up. That was a little bit better there. We rolled out there to 254. That's pretty average for me, honestly. When I'm out on the course, usually 255. I really pipe one maybe 265, and that's almost exactly what I saw here today in the simulator. This one going out to 251 with, again, another 228 carry, it looks like. And 
One more for good measure, just trying to get that draw swing back, get a little bit more power there. That one hit a little bit better. We're rolling out into the 260s there, 262, and it carried 232. I hit a couple more shots here, just getting fully warm, getting ready for this stealth, and making sure that I can make my swing as consistent as possible, because again, I'm trying to go apples to apples here as much as possible. Popping my shaft in this club. We are setting this to the same nine and a half degrees as my Sim 2. And we're going to see if the results are any better. Let's do it. Okay, switching over to the stealth here. Right off the bat, I was impressed with the way this driver felt. As you can see, a lot of my shots here today were going a little bit right. All in all, I would say the dispersion was slightly better with this Stealth. And again, I'm swinging the Stealth Plus model here, trying to straighten that drive out a little bit more. This one was pretty well hit. We touched 261 there in terms of total distance. Another better swing here. Again, this one pushed out there just a little bit right. Something I've really been fighting here, again, in the beginning of the year, my swing is just not quite 100%. A couple things off the bat. Sound is great. It's got a very pleasant thud to it. Feel also slightly better and just in terms of like feedback off the club. And I feel like having the bigger face is going to give you a little better chance at a few of those miss hits. And I've had a few today. A few more swings here. Again, just trying to get that draw swing in. We did it there with a nice ball. That one, honestly, was pretty well piped. I believe that was my best one of the day. We got up to 270 there with the rollout. And I was feeling pretty good, so why not take one more swing here? Again, a little bit right of target, but all in all, pretty happy with that result. Looking at the numbers there, pretty comparable. There's a couple things that stand out here though. All right, first up was the Sim 2. My club head speed was 96.1 miles per hour. My ball speed leaving the club was 139.4 miles per hour. My carry distance on average, 228 yards. Total distance with the rollout, 250 yards. If we look at the peak height, a nice 33 yards. Backspin at 2,520 RPM. Moving on to the Stealth. This is the Stealth Plus variant. My club head speed was 95.2 miles per hour. Ball speed leaving the club at 138 even. Carry distance, 229 yards. That's up one yard from the Sim 2, even though the club head speed was down at about 0.9 miles per hour. Total distance, 254 yards. And that's because there was a little less peak height at 31 yards versus 33, and the back spin a little bit lower as well. Surprisingly, I've got to say, because I thought there would be more spin with that carbon face and those ridges on there, but 2268 RPM there. Now, I was hoping to get a little bit more height and maybe start moving the ball right to left. So I broke out the Stealth HD. HD stands for high draw. Now this driver that I had in hand was 12 degrees and I turned that back down to 10 degrees, hoping I could get a little bit more lift and again, see that ball work. My dispersion there seemed quite a bit tighter. Most balls were definitely left of that center line, but let's go ahead and break down the numbers and see if anything stands out. Definitely, as you can see here, I was hitting quite a few more draws off the club, so just as expected. Even though I turned this driver down, it was a 12 degree driver, I turned it down to 10 degrees. The peak height though remained at 31 yards, that was interesting. Club head speed, 95.5 miles per hour. Ball speed, 138.5 miles per hour. Carry distance, 228. Total distance, 251. And again, 31 yards for the peak height, 2491 for the spin. So just slightly lower spin. If we bounce back into the Sim 2, again, my club head speed was 96.1 against 95.2 with the Stealth Plus. Now the Stealth Plus though did have a little bit further carry 
and the ball speed was uh, about a mile per hour less, which is interesting. So I guess maybe that face is slightly hotter, but honestly, I'm not sure if these numbers are necessarily even statistically significant. Certainly, I didn't see anything that really blew me away in terms of the numbers here. So let's go ahead and wrap this up and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, I gotta say, I think I'm gonna stick with what I've got personally. I'm gonna stick with the Sim 2 this year. I just did not see significant enough differences in those clubs or improvements in my own stats to really warrant me spending another $600. Of course, that's a personal choice that you've got to make for yourself. Now, a couple of reasons why I might choose the Stealth over the Sim 2 would be if I needed a little bit more forgiveness in high and low mishits on the face. Also, I seem to like the feel and the sound. There was just a more pleasing thud from the Stealth as well. So if I was getting a driver for the first time in 2022, those would be the reasons why I might choose the Stealth over the Sim 2. But if money is a concern, I would definitely choose the Sim 2 because I think you'll be able to see some nice discounts here in 2022 on the Sim 2. You also might even be able to pick one up on the used market for a couple hundred bucks less than buying it new last year. For those reasons, I'd probably choose the Sim 2 if you were budget conscious. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I enjoyed checking these clubs out for you. We got a lot more. Again, make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. And I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.